serious friend here and when I started off this week I thought ooh this weekend I'll do a video with uh, Roberto Clemente autograph analysis then I also had an amazing autograph pickup this week I'm going to show that off but it's been a pretty bad week we lost Don Sutton and now we lost as I'm sure you know Hank Aaron so I thought I'd just do a quick tribute on that and a little bit to look for if you're going to go out and buy a Hank Aaron autograph, which I do not recommend doing right now. Unlike Don Sutton, Hank Aaron obviously was a very popular player and culturally he was very important to America. So with the recent announcement of his passing, I think a lot of people will be looking to get his autograph and at the same time, a lot of people will also be dumping a lot of forgeries into the market or if they are selling real ones, they're going to be inflating the prices because of this recent passing. So I would wait about a month with Hank Aaron. The good thing about Hank is he did a lot of shows. He signed a lot of autographs, not terribly rare. And he didn't charge a lot of money really until the last decade. And he still did a show last year, a private signing, I believe, out of Wisconsin. I think it was 325 the starting price for his autograph. But they are out there, it's not that rare. If I were buying one today, I would for sure buy one that has either some kind of authentic in-person, like a Fanatics, Steiner had him, and I'm not sure the store out of Wisconsin, but I'm sure they had some JSA or Beckett in the presence autograph. So that would have to be on the autograph right now if I were to buy his modern signature. Unfortunately, he had a pretty straightforward signature real shaky at the end so fairly easy to forge uh, i met hank aaron in 1996 i want to say he came to the show in detroit at gibraltar trade center i remember it distinctly it was 25 dollars an autograph for anything except for bats and the line was out the door i had to wait an hour to buy an autograph ticket you couldn't buy autograph tickets in advance back then in addition to that, once I got my ticket, I want to say the wait was another two to three hours to beat him. Signed very quickly, small autograph, which you can see here, and it was a quick hello, goodbye, next autograph, very business-like, but he wasn't mean by any stretch. One day I'll get into the real mean players I met at paid signings. So again, if you're going to go buy an autograph today of Hank Aaron, you're a little late, obviously. I would be more focused in now on buying other older Hall of Famers, Willie Mays especially, be careful when you buy a Willie, but I would buy a Willie Mays autograph now, or maybe even like a Bobby Cox who's been very sick lately. But any questions, any comments about meeting Hank, please feel free to leave me a comment and keep collecting.